There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, today is um, a really funny day, actually. I'm going to set you down here and have a chat with you. Um, so, at 9.30 this morning, I went out with my neighbor and her baby, and she went to the dentist, and I looked after the baby while she was in the dentist's office chair. I was in the front desk area. And it was so funny because the baby slept the entire time, which is like rare, because I've been going over there for about a week every day just to hang out with the baby, see what it's like. He's 10 weeks old. And it was so funny because the baby had like a poo blowout, and me, not really used to changing baby's diapers here. It was so funny because the baby knew I had no idea what I was doing because he was laughing at me. Like a 10 week old baby was smiling at me, but um, the baby was laughing at me and I thought that was really funny because he knew I wasn't the mom, obviously. And so there was somebody in the waiting room and I was like, okay, so I don't know if he pooed or not or if the person who just came in the office let out a big stinky fart. And I was like, all right, so do I sniff his butt? like? I don't know. I got over it, I sniffed the baby's butt, and I was like, okay, oh, and then I'm feeling a wet spot on his little bum, and uh, sure enough, there's a mirror behind me, I looked, and I was like, oh, that's not just a wet spot, that's a wet brown spot. So I was like, okay, let's remember how do we do stuff, okay. So never leave the baby unattended, but then first I had to find like everything. I got one thing out of the, um, what do you call it, the baby bag, the baby... Yeah, baby bag, diaper bag, there you go. And I was like, that looks like wet ones. I don't know if I use that on his butt, because wet ones aren't they for like hand sanitizer stuff. So I was like, okay, we'll dig through it again. And there he is, kind of like content. He's totally content. I love the little kid, he's so cute. And so I look in the bag, and then this lady is like, she is not the mom, where is the mother? Find the little huggies, wipes, and I was like, okay, success. Now, where are the diapers? Hunting through those, and I'm like, which way did she say to put on the diaper? The straps on the front, straps on the back, and I was like, oh my gosh. So anyway, the lady got pulled into the office and I was there on my own. Um, I laid the baby down and I was like, okay, I watched a YouTube video or something about it where the babies have onesies and they have little little crisscrosses right there because if they have blowout and stuff, you don't want to have the poo wiped in his face. Oh my God, it's so gross. So I, I knew to roll down his little onesie. I was like, all right, got that done. And the poor little baby was naked in the hole in the little car seat there with his little diaper changing station going on. I laid him down and he was totally fine. He was just laughing at me because I was like, all right, baby, we are going to change your diaper. Changed it fine, totally fine. But the little dude, he was like wiggling around and I was like, I don't know if this little diaper is on straight, if it's on backwards or what. But by the end of it, it was good. Then I had to go find another onesie and I was like, I hope she she packed clothes like I don't know how well prepared I'd be if I was a mom I mean I guess you pack other clothes all the time anyway and um, so I was digging through the diaper bag and I was like okay that's a hat that's a little pair of shorts and uh, found a couple of onesies there and so the baby was still in the little carrier I had my hand on his little belly while I was digging through so I put on the onesie um, over his head but it wouldn't go over his head and I was like I don't want to squish his little brain so I, I left a little mark because the the um, onesie wouldn't go over his head, but it was gone by the time like he got dressed, so obviously I didn't hurt him or whatever. I didn't want to put it over his head because it just wouldn't go, and apparently he doesn't like it anyway. That's what my friend was saying afterwards. Because I didn't know how to put him on, I was like, I can't leave him naked here. I mean, I got his blanket, but... So anyway, I was like, all right, buddy, we're going to put it on like you're putting on a dress. And he was laughing at me the entire time. It was so sweet. Um, so I put the onesie the neck hole through his feet and we shimmied it up <laughs> it, was, it was the funniest thing ever oh my god but the little baby was he was laughing like i didn't know babies could laugh that young it was so cute then he fell back asleep in my arms after he was um we were there for about two hours or so which i thought was it, it kind of flew by actually to be honest uh and now i'm hungry and i think i'm going to actually head out to ulta today so, you know when you drive through like a parking lot and you have no idea where the thing is you're going? 
I was trying to find Alta for like the longest time going in circles over there. So I found it. There's like a drive through pharmacy there in the Rite Aid. I've never been in the Rite Aid. And Alta is like a, um, here it is over there. It's like a um, Shopper's Drug Mart and a Sephora all in one and a Stein Mart. I've never been in Stein Mart, so I'm going to see what that's about. It's probably like a um, grocery store. I don't know. I'm going to go in there after and show you guys what it's at. If you guys ever tried that, I kind of want to try it. Isn't that the Shoppers Drug Mart brand? As you can see from the clips, not really my kind of store. It was kind of like um, winners, but a little more old ladyish than I'd like. Now I'm going to go to Rite Aid and see what they got in there for like beauty props because my Ulta didn't have um, the thing I wanted. Seriously, Rite Aid sells succulents. That's pretty wicked. Got a little car haul here. Let's put that on. I got some deodorant and I got some Wet n Wild. Is it? Oh, is this a base coat? Oh, frig. I didn't mean to buy the matte top coat. And this is a clear protector. I meant to get the top coat and the base coat, but what odds? I can use this because I used up my, um, I lost use up my NYC. And they're 99 cents. It's a sweet deal. Um, right now I'm just gonna head outside, I'm gonna bring you with me, I'm going to give Alfie a hairbrush. Do you like my patio setup? I made that. It's not really the most amazing job. Thumbs up if you did. I'm planning to make videos every Monday and Wednesday. 